Hey guys, Bill. Well, I got another one for you. Remember the uh, the flaxseed video I put out with the mucilage? Well, we can get that same mucilage out of the plantain. And I think most people know that uh, the plantains, the broadleaf plantain, the narrowleaf plantain, uh, everything about them is edible, really. Now, the uh, haven't really heard too much about the, the seeds. I'm going to collect a few of these here today. Just that easy. Well, that one wasn't that easy. I'm still going to save it. Now here's got some good seeds left on it. Okay, I got a little cup full, and this is the, uh, the stainless steel shaker that I carry in my kit for doing my little projects and stuff with. It's uh, good for straining. Uh, you can cook in it, use it for a cut. Um, you can turn it upside down on another can and uh, to do like uh, pine tar and stuff like that. So you may remember this in some of the other videos I have. Well, let's go back in. I'm going to show you what we can do with All these right, plantains. I'm going to try to keep my shadow out of the picture here. Okay, we just got our plantains in there. We just stripped them right off of the stem. screen now there I use this screen for other things there we go and we may need to use it to finish straining now like I was saying look at those seeds coming out of there they're so small that even a flax seed if you're going to do flax seed you probably need to grow sprouts or grind them up because if you don't just chew up the, the seeds well enough, you're not going to get any benefits out of them uh, whatsoever. Okay. Now I'm sure there's plenty more in there. But what I'm going to show you, uh, this was is probably going to be plenty. I'm just going to put these here on my oil cloth. I'll just brush them off when we're done. Now I guess doing this, you know, out in nature, uh, unless you had something kind of neat like this with you. Let's go ahead and run these through the strainer one more time here. It'd be a little bit tough to strain them out, but I'd say a person could manage if you were after what I'm fixing to show you that we can do with these things. Okay, now that's a pretty good yield of uh, uh, plantain seeds right there. Maybe that's the way to do it. Kind of put them on uh, something flat and blow the husk away and see if the seeds stay. That'd be kind of risky, I guess. Okay, give me just a minute. I'm going to run there and grab some boiling water. And I'm going to show you what we can do with this. All right, guys. I just went in there and microwaved that water until it was boiling. Let's see. Let me go ahead and dump these in there. Now, like I said, the... Uh, the yield for these seeds are so small that they've been overlooked, but they actually have a lot of the same properties that the flax seed has, uh, a lot of the same minerals and and uh, oils too. I didn't bring anything out to start with. Good old multi-tool worked just fine, I reckon here. All right, letting that thicken up there. Guys, if you don't have one of these in your pack, and I haven't seen anybody show any in any of their uh, carry kits or anything, but that's a fabulous kit. 
You may have seen in some other videos that I've actually steamed acorns by putting something under the screen, suspended in the screen halfway up and putting the acorn meat on there and just getting the acorn oil out. Um, you can use it for tons of different strain and even making lye. Um, you can strain the lye ash out, uh, put your wood ash in here and strain it out in your pots for cleaning so you can get a little lye water for cleaning your pots out in nature. So that's a good uh, piece. Uh, I really enjoyed having it in my pack. I have shown it on a few videos. Uh, they can be got uh, just about anywhere, I would say, uh, just about anywhere. So it's just a salt pepper shaker, uh, stainless steel, and uh, works really good. Be a nice little part to add to your pack. All right, guys, just after a few minutes, this is what we got. It pulls the oils out, just like in the flax, and makes a mucilage. And, uh, of course, the mucilage is, can be used for many things. It can actually be consumed at this point right here. And now you can see how the, the seeds are kind of suspended in there when I stir it now because the solution's getting thicker. Uh, now this stuff was used, uh, it's actually a, a great uh, oil just within itself. Uh, it's not tacky, just like the flax oil. Uh, feels really good on your skin. Um, now there's a couple other uses that can be done with it too. It is a natural oil. It can be used for uh, uh, as an egg substitute. That's right. So if you're out cooking cornbread or something in the woods and you forget your egg, you can do uh, flax seed, plantain seed, um, oh shoot, sunflower seeds. Uh, there's several seeds out here that produces this mucilage form and again it can be consumed right there now you can also take this the mucilage uh, with the seeds in it's not gonna hurt a thing put it in your frying pans guys uh, when you're out uh, you don't have to pack oil um, and of course that's just a, a good oil base that you can cook in right there so that's something I wanted to share all right guys well Give this plantain uh, oil a try. See what you think about it. Your wife might even like it as far as the lotion. Now, I think I read that uh, the mucilage uh, uh, helps somewhat with the uh, mosquito repellent. Now, this is a, uh, a cold plant. Uh, Dave Canterbury explained uh, cold plants and hot plants really well. This is a pollen plant, uh, which was used on poultices uh, as far as uh, thorns and uh, bee stings and such like that. Uh, I did read that uh, it may be somewhat of a mosquito repellent. Uh, definitely a good egg substitute. Um, oil for uh, sealing stuff. Now as far as the drying oil, I'm not really sure. It's really close to the flax seed, uh, so there's a good chance that it could even be a good drying oil uh, for sealing the cloth or something out in nature. I know the flax plant may be, or the plantain plant's a whole lot easier to come across probably in everybody's yard as opposed to a flax plant. Um, but you can see the longer this sets, and you want to keep your ratio kind of, you know, pretty close to the abundance of seeds you've got compared to water so that you get the mucilage form. Um, otherwise, put too much water in there, um, it won't thicken up really well. Uh, but you can use it for oil and frying. Now, I do know that uh, flax seed turns into linseed oil after it's boiled under pressure at uh, 300 degrees for a good long time. So I don't believe there's any fear of, uh, of getting poisoned by, by it. If I'm wrong, guys, let me know. But I do know that it can be assumed, consumed. It's not bad, it's a little bit thick, good for upper respiratory problems. Um, so give it a try. Let me know what you think about the plantain seed. Rediscovering, rediscovering, guys. All right, guys, let me know what you think. It's not bad, not bad at all.